بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس وشنگ یو آل آ ویری گڈ مارننگ ہاؤ یو آل آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ ویل بائی دا گریس آف اللہ آئی ایم آلسو گڈ الحمد للہ لکیلی دا ویدر از آن آر سائڈ ٹو ڈے دا سن اینڈ آئی آر پلیز ٹو آفر یو آ وام ویلکم ایز یو آل نو آئی ایم یور میتھس ٹیچر سادیہ آہت Today in lecture number 8 you will learn new concepts in the chapter number 2 that is HCF and LCM First I will teach you what does HCF stands for HCF stands for highest common factor The largest common factor of two or more numbers is called the highest common factor or we can say HCF or this is the factor of the greatest value that two or more numbers share. To explain HCF further let's take some examples. Do you know my dear students there are two methods you will learn in this chapter to find HCF number 1 is by factorization method and number 2 is by division method All right students first I will explain you HCF by factorization method Now let us take three numbers 15 20 and 40 Break them into their prime factors So first in first step resolve each given number into its prime factors like 15 We have 15 here so first we will take 2 as a prime number but 15 is not divisible by 2 so we will take 3 3 five times 15 then we take 5 as a prime factor 5 once time 5 then we have 20 20 is divisible by 5 and 2 both numbers but first we will take 2 as a prime number now 2 10 times 20 then again we will take 2 because 10 is divisible by 2 so 2 5 times 10 then lastly we will take 5 once time 5 Now last number we have 40. It is again divisible by 2. So first we will take 2 then follow the same method which we have done before in the previous numbers 15 and 20. Now the second step is write down factors of the given numbers. factors of 15 is 3 into 5 factors of 20 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 factors of 40 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 then next step make loops around the common factor we have 5 as a common factor here So we write it here common factor 5 now the hcf of 15 20 and 40 is 5 Here is another example now let us take another example with three numbers 72 90 and 108 
break them into their prime factors. So in first chap, resolve each given number into prime factors. Like 72 is divisible by 2. So we will take 2 to 36 times 72. Then take 2 and 3 as a prime factor and resolve this prime factor like this. Then we have 90. 90 is also divisible by 2. Now to 45 times 90, then we will take 3 15 times 45, then 3 5 times 15 and 5 1 times 5. Now last number is 108 again. It is divisible by 2, so first we will take 2 54 times 108, then 227 times, then 39 times, then 33 times and then 3 once time. Now, in the second step, write down all the factors of the given numbers, factors of 72, factors of 90, and factors of 108. Then, in third step, make loops around the common factors. Here 2, then here 3, and here 3 are the common factors. The common factors in all the given example number 2 are 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 18. Therefore, at CF of 72, 90 and 108 is 18. Now find the SCF for each group of prime factors. First we identify the common prime factors from each group. Then make loops around the common factors. What are the common factors here? 2 multiplied by 3. Now 2 multiplied by 3 we will get 6. Now the HCF is 6. Alright students, what we do when we want to find the HCF of much larger numbers, here is another method to find HCF by division method. For example, 198 and 36 are the numbers. Divide the largest number by the smallest number. Here the largest number, the dividend that is 360. And the smaller number, the divisor that is 198. Now divide 360 by 198. We will get 162 as remainder. Now in next step change this remainder as the new divisor. That is divide the first divisor by the first remainder. Next applying the same rule in the next steps until proceed this rule still the remainder is 0 and the last divisor will be the HCF of the given numbers. Here is the other example to find HCF by division method for example, 30 and 42 are the numbers. Divide the largest number by the smallest number. Here, the largest number, the dividend, that is 42. And the smaller number, the divisor, that is 30. Now, divide 42 by 30. We will get 12 as remainder. Now 12 becomes the divisor and 30 becomes the dividend. Now take again 
6 as divisor and 12 as dividend. Now the remainder is 0. Lastly, the HCF of 30 and 42 is 6. We can apply the same long division method to find the HCF of 3 two digits number. Let us take 40, 52 and 76. Take 52 as dividend and 40 as divisor. Now divide 52 by 40. We will get 12 as remainder. Now 12 becomes the divisor and 40 becomes the dividend. Now take again 4 as a divisor and 12 as a dividend. Now the remainder is 0. But we have the third number is left. So we will take 4 as a divisor again and 76 as a dividend. Now we solve it, the remainder we will get 0 here. Therefore, HCF of 40, 52 and 76 is 4. My dear students, what is least common multiple? The least common multiple refers to the smallest number that happens to be a multiple of all the numbers or in other words we can say that LCM of two or more numbers is the least common multiple which is divisible by these numbers. To explain it further let's take some examples. Students, there are two methods you will learn in this chapter to find LCM. Number one is by factorization method and number two is by division method. To find the lowest common multiple by prime factorization method, we should first find out the prime factors of the given numbers 15 and 20. Like for 15, we will take 3 as a prime number, now 3 5 times 15 and then we will take 5, then 5 once time 5. And for 20, 20 is divisible by 2, so 2 10 times 20, then 2 5 times 10, then 5 once time 5. After that, write down all the factors of 15 and 20. Like this, factors of 15 is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 and factors of 20 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5. Make loop around the common factor. Now write down all the common factor first. We have only 5 here so we just write 5 as a common factor here. And then write all the factors that are not common. After that multiply all the factors 60 is the LCM of the given numbers, is the product of the all the prime factors including the common factors used only once. 
to find LCM by using division method, we follow the steps. Step number one is write the given numbers in a horizontal line and separating them by commas. Then divide them by a prime number which divides all the numbers or at least one number completely like 40, 110 and 80 completely divisible by 2. Now we put the quotient 20, 55, 40 under the number in the next row. If the number is not divided exactly, we bring it down in the next row like 55 is not divisible by 2. We continue dividing until all the numbers are completely divided. Lastly, we will multiply all the prime numbers. Now, 80, 880 is the lowest common multiple of 40, 110 and 80. This product is the least common multiple of the given numbers. In the next example, again, we have to find out LCM by using division method. First, write the given numbers 12, 26, 16 and 39 horizontally. Then divide them by a prime number which divides all the numbers or at least one number completely like 12, 26 and 16 completely divisible by 2. Now we put the quotient 16, 13 and 8 under the number in the next row. If the number is not divided exactly, we bring it down in the next row like 39 is not divisible by 2. We continue dividing until all the numbers are completely divided. Lastly, we will multiply all the prime numbers. Now, 624 is the lowest common multiple of 12, 6, 26, 16 and 39. I hope you people have understood the concept of HCF and LCM. Thank you so much my dear students. This is end of today's lecture. See you in the next lecture with new concepts. Until then, take good care of yourself and keep you and your surroundings clean. May Allah bless you all good health and showers his ble countless blessings on you and your family. Ameen. Stay home, stay safe, stay strong and stay positive. Jazakallah, khairan, Allah Hafiz everyone.